we'll be looking at how to connect a CS2 to ePortal. Before we begin, make sure that the CS2 is powered down. ePortal will not recognise a marker that is already powered up. Also, remove any gas supply that is connected to the marker. Remove any hopper that is connected to the marker. Check the breach for paintballs and remove if you find any. Remove the foregrip to expose the micro USB socket on the underside of the frame. Connect a USB cable to this socket and connect the other end of the cable to your computer. Push the middle push button on the rear grip. The LCD backlight starts to flash green. This is to indicate that the secondary circuit board, that which is inside the grip, is connected to ePortal. You will also see next to the USB connector on the underside of the frame another flashing green LED. This is to indicate that the primary circuit board, that which is between the frame and the body, is also connected to ePortal. On the ePortal screen, top right, you will see that ePortal has recognised a Geo CS2 and it has displayed the version number that is in that CS2. The first time that you connect a marker to ePortal, you may find that it takes some time for ePortal to recognise the marker. This is because it takes time to install the USB driver. So don't worry, just wait the extra few seconds that it takes. In the next video, we will look at the parameter editor.